Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, this is Charla. So, today's video is not gonna be the same as the usual videos. So, I'm gonna be starting a Let's Play series on a game called Stardew Valley. And this is gonna be the first video of the series. So, I hope you guys enjoy it. Well, then let's start the video. Okay, so we'll just start by making a new farm. And I'll just customize my character real quick. So here's the starting story. So, during the story, I won't say anything so you guys can enjoy the story.
Okay, so from here on out, it's the start of the game. As you can see, if you turned on the instructions or tutorials, you can just follow the instructions to do everything when you first started. Okay, so at first you get two quests. First is to cultivate and harvest a parsnip and then greet the other 26 people. So you can see when you open the inventory, it shows that you only have 12 slots. And next is your skills page and then the social page. You can see the people that you haven't met yet in this page. Next is the craft menu, and then there's a map. And then there's the collection page to see what you haven't gotten yet in the game. And then the settings page. You can adjust a lot of things in this settings menu, so... I'll be trying to adjust the date box size to find the size that's comfortable for me. Okay, so you can see that the date box has changed the size of the date box, but it's too small, so I'm gonna change it back. Okay, next, we're out of the house, and you can see the farm is a mess, and you can just click on any item on the map, and it will automatically choose the tool that you'll need. So I'll just clean up a patch to plant the seeds first. So before you start doing anything, you should first use your energy to cut down trees. This is important for you to make chests 
where you can put all your items in the chest because right now you only have 12 slots for inventory and it's small so you should try to make chests first before anything else Okay, so you see that I've left a few of the tree stumps on the map. That is a trick to save your energy rather than using a lot of your energy to get rid of the tree stumps. Okay, now to craft a chest and put it down. And move everything that you don't need from your inventory to the chest. After that's done, we can go exploring. Okay, so for those of you who are playing in mobile, you can just pinch your fingers, two of your fingers, to zoom out and you can see in a bigger picture. So right now, we're going to do the quest of greeting the other 26 people. Uh, so when the people are behind the counter, you can't actually talk to them. It doesn't count as you talking to them when they're behind the counter. So you have to go around the counter to talk to them. You'll see after this. So when you've just first started, you should buy as many seeds as you can um, to get more money back. So you should not just wait for the parsnips that you've planted to grow and well, that's just not, go not gonna give you that much money. So I've wasted 490 gold just to buy seeds. So right now, I'm just going around looking for people to greet. Well, you can just enter people's houses to look for them if you can't find them outside and People won't actually stop you before a certain time at night.
So when you're out in the wild, you can actually find a few things that are that you can pick up called forageables, um, and make sure that you have enough space in your inventory to pick them up because they will be useful for later. So as you can see, right now my inventory is full, so I cannot pick up anything else, so I have to go back to the farm and put it all back into the chest. So if you have a lot of forageables in your chest and you have more than one, you can just sell the others to into the shipping box next to your farm. Um, for forageables, you actually need only one of each in your chest for later use. So if you have any excess forageables, you can just sell them for extra money. Now that that's done, we're going back to looking for more people to greet.
Okay, here's the thing. So, if you haven't become friends or become friendly with um, a villager, a character, an NPC, whatever you call these people in the game, you cannot actually enter their room. You can enter their houses outside, but you cannot enter their room. Now you can see that I'm just going around the valley to find more forgeables because they will actually give us quite a bit of money. So if you come across a forgeable, make sure to try to take them back, put them in your inventory. If there's something that's not useful in your inventory, you can just throw it into the trash can and Voila, an inventory slot. So before going to bed, because it's already night time, right? I'm just gonna use a bit of energy to clean up near the place that I'm gonna plant again tomorrow. So, yeah. Oh, and make sure before you actually go to bed, fill up your watering can beforehand. So in the morning, you don't need to go all the way to fill up your watering can. You can just go straight to watering your plants. Another tip, if you don't like what you see at night, it's very hard to see, right? You can make small torches to put around your farm using wood and sap, which is what I'm doing right now. Now you can see that it's actually a bit better around the places that I've put the torch. Now in your house, there's a fireplace which you can also click to turn on the lights. Okay, you can see that from foraging, we got 130. 130 gold which is quite a lot for someone just starting the game so yeah that's why I said try to gather as much forgeables as you can to sell the excess
Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and plant all the seeds that we bought yesterday from Pierre's general shop. Okay, you guys can see that I left out five parsnip seeds. That is for the sake of not using too much energy every day to water the plants. Okay, so now after we're done watering the plants and refilling the watering can, we're gonna go ahead and clean the vicinity of our cottage. Okay, so earlier it showed that we had level 1 of foraging, so that means right now we can craft a snack field. A field snack, I mean. So, the ingredients are a few seeds, which you can get from cutting down a few trees. The maple tree, the oak tree, and the pine tree. So that's what I'm gonna do now. Of course, the seeds are not going to fall every time you cut a tree, so you have to do it in a few tries to be able to get the seeds that you need. So, the quest of breeding people is still going, so there are only a few people that we've not breeded yet, so yeah, let's try to breed everyone by today, but if it doesn't work, then we'll continue tomorrow. So, right now I'm going to the beach because earlier we got a quest to go to the beach from a person called Willie. So this is a cutscene where Willie talks to us.
So Willie's giving us a bamboo pole which we can use to go fishing. So going fishing while on a rainy day is going to be beneficial for you because you don't have to use your energy to do anything else. You can just fish and sell the fish, which in turn gives you quite a lot of money rather than compared to the forageables. So, on the beach, there are also quite a lot of forgeables like those clams and a mussel over there. So you can pick them up and also sell them in the shipping box on your farm. So the village characters or the NPCs have different schedules which you can find online but I'm just going forward with my gut feeling and how I remembered it. So I can find the NPCs in places they might be at certain times. Okay, so there are only three people left that we haven't met yet, but on the bottom of the list, if you could see earlier, there that is a wizard. So you cannot go into the wizard's place before he sends you a letter, so he doesn't count.
Another thing the forgeables are good for is that some of them can restore your energy. So you can just long click or long press on the forgeable and see how many energies they can give you. So, I don't know if any of you have noticed yet, but whenever you use the scythe, it doesn't cost you any energy at all. So, you can use it as much as you want, and your energy will stay the same, it won't deplete. Okay, as you can see, it is raining today, so you don't have to water the plants, you can just save your energy. You can use the energy for other things like cutting down trees, or you can go fishing, yeah, anything you want to do. So as you guys can see, I finally managed to gather all the seeds that I need to make a field snack. So just crafting one field snack can help you get 45 energy. So that is going to be very helpful if you will work on the field all day long.
So after finishing everything you want to do on your farm, you can go ahead and explore some more, gather more forageables, or you can also go fishing. Oh, just an FYI, you can also cut down trees outside of your farm, which looks like the trees on your farm. So for trees that doesn't look like oak trees or maple trees or pine trees, you cannot cut them down. So Now I'm going to go fishing and you guys will see how the fishing works in Stardew Valley. So first of all, you only need to press your screen to throw the line to the sea or to the lake. And then you need to wait for the fish to bite. So when the fish bites, you will see some instructions and you need to click, keep clicking on your screen to match your the green bar with the fish. And then you catch one. It's very simple actually, but it's kind of hard to do. And I cannot say that I am good at it. I'm actually very bad at it, but... Because I've been playing for quite some time, so I've kind of got the hang of it. So yeah, that's why it seems kind of simple. Okay, so right now, this is the only person that we haven't greeted yet. So after this, we're gonna finish the quest of introducing ourselves. After that's done, we get a new quest. Give a gift to someone. So we're just gonna give a gift to Willie inside the fishing shop. Because he likes fish, right? And there you go, you get a hundred gold as a reward. Also, don't forget you can sell your fish 
to Willie too if you don't want to wait to drop it off in the shipping box. Now I'm gonna try fishing in the lake in the middle of town to see if I can get a different fish from what I've sold to Willy earlier. Okay, so don't be surprised if you don't actually get a fish because sometimes you're gonna get green algae or seaweed which counts as trash but some of the trash can actually still be used to cook something. Okay, now I'm gonna try fishing in the woods to see if I can actually get other fishes. But it turns out I got the same smallmouth bass. I've had enough fishing for the day, so I'm just gonna go back to the farm, clean up a bit. Okay, so I forgot to tell you guys earlier that in your house there's a TV in which you can see the weather for the next day. Um, you can see your fortune for the day and on other days you can also see a cooking channel or an environmental channel to see whether you can get something out of the wild today. So it is best if you can actually check the television every day to see what's in store for you. Okay, so that's the end of Let's Play Stardew Valley first. The first. Um, let me know if you guys enjoy the video in the comment section. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next Let's Play Stardew Valley video.